there everybody it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas and I'm going to do a Dutch pour on it but I'm going to um, blow out from the center I got a new um, little blow dryer here I'm anxious to try out so let's go over my paints my base coat is going to be a Blick titanium white and my other colors are Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. Going with the blues here today. And my next color is a combination of Golden Cerulean Blue Deep and Amsterdam Titanium White. I just wanted to lighten that blue up a little bit there. My next color is the Amsterdam Grayish Blue. And my next color is a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Blue and Metallic Black. I really wanted to darken that blue up a little bit. And let me show you that color. Really pretty color here. And I can show you too consistency. I tried to leave my paint a little bit on the thinner side today because it will be the Dutch pour and I'm trying to blow that paint out. And my last color is a color that a lot of artists used to use, and I, I never had the opportunity to use it. It was called Mysterious by Art Minds, and apparently that um, went out of stock. And it is a combination of four different paints here. Um, I used the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Pebio Dyna, those two to start. It was one part of the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, one quarter part of this Pebio Dyna, one eighth to one quarter part of the uh, Flow Acrylic Golden Phalo Turquoise, and lastly, one quarter part of Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash. That is what I used to get similar to the color Mysterious. And let me show you that. I'm not exactly how sure or how close I got to it, but I really love the color that I did, did get. And you can play with those four paints to make it lighter, darker, more turquoise, whatever you would like. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn the camera off and put my base coat down, and then I'll bring you back. And we'll start to painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my uh, white. And I, I, there were a few things that I did forget to mention. I did, at the last minute, add some silver, the Liquitex Basics uh, Silver. I just felt like I needed a little something to go with all these blue colors. And also my pouring medium is a little bit different today. Because I wanted my paints thin, I did water them down quite a bit. And then all I did was add a dab of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And that's the only pouring medium I use today. Um, there is no silicone in my paints. So let's get started with laying down the paint. Like I said, I want to just pour from the center out. And I'm really not laying these down in any particular order. Just want to make sure I get enough of each of the colors. And this pour is actually a test because I do want to make a bigger canvas in the blues as a, a present. And I thought, why not just start with a smaller canvas and see how it goes. And this is that mysterious color that I made up. Just, just beautiful shine to that. And here is that really deep, rich blue that I made with the metallic blue and black, metallic black.
And lastly, here's the silver. Just thought that would really add another dimension to this painting. And I may add a little more paint here around the edges. If I leave a little negative space, that's okay too. little bit of this darker blue here and there in the center or middle part too. Okay, I think that's probably enough paint. So I'm just going to start blowing out and see what happens here. Okay, I like what I have, but I think I do have to add more paint and also probably some more white around the edges to get the paint moving. So that's what I'm going to do. Just build this up and add to it. And I do like the little bit of lacing that I'm getting there also. add more white paint around the edge that will help this colored paint move and I think I could have even had my paints thinner but I was afraid to add more water because I was getting close to almost the halfway mark with water to paint ratio And add the silver. And I may even add a little bit of the white. Just here and there. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And add some more of the white around the edge here.
and I may add some in the middle here too and just start blowing again okay let's see what we get this time I am liking that quite a bit. Gonna do a torch here. And I see a couple areas where my paint is still thick. I'm gonna blow those out. me I'm going to turn my blow dryer to the side a little bit and just watch how the paint moves with that take another look at it might just do a little bit of tipping here some of the paint is still moving and I think I'm going to get out my air compressor And just blow around the edges here a little bit. Okay. Get 
get this straight here. With the air compressor, you can really get down, almost like make a little tunnel in the paint and it'll bring up some of the white. And you can do a little bit more wispy on the edges. going to turn my painting now so I can work with it a little easier. See I'm holding this to the side. That's how I like to work with this little air gun here, air compressor. See the wispies I got? I really like those. Just noticing there's some thick paint yet. I'm going to try and blow that out just a little bit here. Let's see if I can get some more really nice effects with it. It seems like the white paint is the paint that's giving me these little cells and this little lacing. Okay. I'm really liking this. I think it's very pretty. take my skewer here for a minute just, just add add a few effects here just here and there I think I will torch it and then I'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we go with our close-up. Off camera, what I did is I did take off some of the wispies around the edges, 
put some white down and then just blew very easily because I wasn't happy with the composition. And this is one of those areas. This is the upper left. I just gave it a little bit more negative space. And we are going down the left hand side here. I'm very happy with the composition now. I got some cells and a little bit of lacing in there. And again, down here, I added a little bit of white and then blew it out again. And I will take you up the middle. Very pretty in here with the dark blue. Not much of that silver came through, but when it dries, hopefully I will see that pop through. And this is the middle here that I worked on. And again, I did um, take some of the wispies off there and just blew it lightly to give it an edge that I was happy with. And again, over in this corner. And this is the upper right. Just going down the right hand side now. Again, this is a Dutch pour on a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I did do, what I did here, as you can see right in this area, I just mouth blew uh, on top to give it some extra layer look. And I think I achieved that in certain places on this Dutch pour. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel out. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.